Hi, Suzanne Stoddard here with Legitimate Affiliate Training, and today I want to review Designer. This is an awesome ebook tool and something that I use all the time. I'm going to take you inside to show you how it works, and then I'll share with you any pros and cons and my personal recommendation, which of course you already know I do highly recommend this product. So stay with me, okay, because there's some great improvements that they've made to this tool in the last little while. And if you'd like to access their special $27 lifetime deal, click my link below. Okay, so let's take a look at what they say here. You can create, design, and launch stunning ebooks and reports in two minutes without writing a word. And the sale I was talking about, right now they're offering a lifetime access for only $27. And that's quite the deal because it's normally $29 a month. And what they've recently added, now that AI is so prevalent in the online world, that you can now have it write your content as well as designing with beautiful templates. It says down here as we scroll down, with the $27 deal, you get to upload from a post or URL, from a Word document, a Google Doc, you can start from a template, or start from scratch and their new Word Genie edition. And then you simply choose a template, you customize that template, and then you publish and you're ready to go to use it as a lead magnet to grow your email list. That's the biggest reason why I use this tool. You get access to millions of images because they integrate with Unsplash and Pixabay, which are copyright free images. You can even add table of contents and page numbering. There's an image editor. So when you do download or upload your own image, you can edit it right there. The draft editor, where you can take a final look-see at your ebook and edit anything you need to before you publish it. And you can even publish it so that it appears as a flip book for your visitor. And of course, do it again and again because you have unlimited opportunities to create ebooks. And you will get a couple of bonuses. You get a commercial license. You get a free marketing ebook. And you get access to their Facebook community, which is quite active and a great place to ask questions. And as you can see down here, this is normally what they charge for their plan, $29 a month. But right now there is a special offer for a one-time payment of $27, you get lifetime access. So this is an awesome deal, guys. Now let's go inside so I can show you my own account. Now I do have the pro version, so I have a few more features than the standard one, but I'll let you know what they are as we go along. So this is my dashboard, and these are the different ways that you can upload your content and as I said, I do have a couple of different things like importing from PDF. That's a pro feature. And it shows all of my recent projects. You can also click on my projects where you can see them all. Okay. And if any of them you've made into flipbooks, you can see all of your drafts. And basically it just keeps a draft of everything you've worked on in here. Okay. And then your media manager. And this is where you have the option to upload an image from your computer or if you want to search for photos. So let's say you were creating something for the dog niche. So if you look for dog, you can see that it brings up a whole bunch of dog images for you to use. And from there you have the option to open it in a new window or save in a folder. So let's go back to the dashboard and start creating an ebook. This Word Genie is what I especially want to show you because that is a wonderful addition to the software. So here's Word Genie, we'll click on that. And it says here that you initially get 100,000 credits for free with your standard account. And there are ways to buy extra credits if you need to, they're fairly inexpensive. And they figure it takes about 10,000 credits to create one ebook. But of course, that depends on the length, right? So let's get started and let's enter a topic or niche. Now, because I'm an online marketer, I'm going to create one here on how to grow your email list. And also, as you can see, because I'm a pro member, they have given me 200,000 credits. You can add tags to your project if you want. 
And you also have a choice of languages. These are all the different languages that you can create your ebook in. I'll choose English and we'll click Next. And now they want you to choose a sub niche, or you can stay with the one that you have. I think I'm going to choose how to grow your email list by optimizing your website for lead generation. And if you don't like anything you see, you just click regenerate and it'll give you more ideas. So we click next. And now it wants to know what type of audience that you're targeting with this ebook. So I'm going to write marketers who are collecting leads for their online business. Next. And now it's giving you suggested titles. And these are just excellent. I'm going to choose Lead Magnet Mastery, How to Build a Killer Email List. And as I said before, you can regenerate to get even more ideas. Click Next. And there you go. They have now given us a suggested outline. So this is incredible. This makes your content writing so much easier, right? And you can regenerate. So I like what's here. So let's click Next. And now it's going to generate a little bit of content for each subheading. This will take a few minutes, so I'll be right back when it's done. And there we go, guys. This took about 10 minutes, but can, when you consider the amount of detail in here and how long of an outline that I had for this, this is absolutely incredible. Look at all the detail in here. And now we can go ahead and choose a template. Now there are oodles of templates in here. You can, you can search for a specific one if you have a favorite one that you use. You can choose the type, which is standard, two column, uh, any templates that you've made yourself that you want to reuse. Okay, and then there are the pro templates that comes with my account. And then you can choose the category. And there are quite a few in here. So you would just find something that would best suit your niche. You can go that way, or you can just hand, go through them all yourself and hand pick them. But in my case, I'm going to pick business and apply. And this is everything that came up. So now it's just a matter of choosing the template that you like. And if you want to see what they look like inside, you would click on preview and it gives you a quick view of what the cover page would look like, what the pages inside would look like and then your final back cover. So there are a few here that are specifically for email marketing. So let's take a look at this one. And there's our cover. There's what the pages would look like and the back cover. And what I like about this is on each page, you'll put the title of your ebook. And then down here, you could add the link to your business or to wherever it is that you would like to send them. And it'll show up as a clickable link on every page. So let's use this one. There we go. And it automatically comes up in the editor. Now everything is automatically nicely formatted for you. Here is the table of contents. And we'll have to make sure that all of these are changed to the right page. And then this is where it's added in your content. So it's already increased the font of all of your subheadings. And really, there's not a whole lot you need to do to this. But if you want to, this is what you have available to you. And this is especially good if you were creating one from scratch. It has all of these different elements that you can add. And I won't go through each one. This review video would be much too long. But once you get in here and start playing with this, you'll realize just how flexible it is. So you have your basic elements. You have worksheet elements and under text, you have all of these elements. So if you wanted to add an additional paragraph, an additional heading under images, these are the images that I've uploaded. And there are also suggested images, which is again, where you would type something in and you get all of those free images from Pixabay and Unsplash. And of course, you can always decide what shape you want them in. Next is your artwork and shapes. And there is a lot in here. So if your niche was in pet care, it'll bring up some pet care images and different types of artwork that you may add as the background to your page, let's say. You then have an option of layouts, whether you want grids, 
a two column page, four column, there's different choices here. You can also decide to change this overall template if you don't really like it once it shows up. So you can go ahead and pick another template and it'll automatically change it in the editor. And then of course, this is a great way to save your favorite elements for quick access. You have settings here where you can automatically set the size of the ebook that you want in either portrait or landscape and decide different things that you may want to use like content boxes, whether or not you want to auto save, page numbering. This is also excellent because it just automatically sets the page number on all of your pages right here. And you can change the color and all that afterwards. You can decide if you want a number or if you want Roman numerals. And then headers and footers. And that would be these things here. This is the header of the page and the footer. And then you can decide if you want a watermark. And if you choose that, you can add the designer image if you want, or upload your own, preferably with your business name, and have it as a watermark across your content. So there you go. That's how easy it is to create an ebook. And as you can see, this one was very detailed. It came to a total of 46 pages. It's really easy to edit. You click on a box, and if you click on this little red box, these are some more options. You can also move anything that you want. So let's say you came down here and you didn't like that this subheading started at the end of this page, and it should start at the top here. So again, you click on the blue box, Click the little down arrow and it moves it down to the next page. So that's a nice way to make it much more professional looking. And for the headers and footers, just going to go to the top here. Notice that it automatically puts in your name that you put in the settings features in your account. I would personally make this as the title of my book bigger. So you would just increase the font size. And then I'm going to remove the heading that they had on this page and raise this up. And of course, make it as big as you want. When you highlight it, you get this little editing window here so you can make it bold. So if you want to change the color of this, you can go ahead, highlight it, and click here to choose a color. But in this case, let's match the header color here. And they do show the document colors. It's this one. So we'll click on that and choose. And that's how easy it is to edit. Now here, do you notice that it brought the title of this ebook in each and every heading? So it carries on through. Now on the footer, you'll notice that it has the title again. But I would rather have this say my business name, which is Legitimate Affiliate Training. And I'll go ahead and increase that font. And then you can add a link to it. Okay, so this will make it into a clickable link. And there we go. And if you notice up here when it says make changes to all elements, if you make sure that that tab is on, then as you scroll down, you'll see that it's changed on all of the footers. And it's not just the footer that you can make clickable. Anything in here you can make clickable. So if you were referring to another piece of content you had or wanted to put in any other affiliate links, you would just highlight it. And again, this little ribbon comes up and just add your link in here. And of course, if you want to add images and things like that to make it look even nicer, choose one of the images that you uploaded. Or if you were looking for an image under su suggested images, so before we had looked for dog, click on the one that you like and just drag it into place. And there you go. And you could size it and do whatever you need to to make it look good in your ebook. Now, of course, I'm not going to add a picture of a dog in an email marketing ebook, but those are all the different things you can add. Now, this page number here, let's go to page one. It's not showing up too well. So when you click on it and then over here on text color, Let's make it black. And as you can see, all of the next pages are done accordingly. Now, if you wanted to change the size of the font, again, you can clip, click on the first box 
And you can make sure that this tab is turned on again, make changes to all elements, and then it will change all of the paragraphs in your entire ebook. Okay, it'll make it a little bit longer, of course, but that saves you going box by box if you change all the elements at once. And there are so many other things you can do in here. As a beginner, I would just leave it as is because it's perfectly formatted. So there is so much that you can do to create a beautiful ebook to share either as a lead magnet or an instructional type of book for your business. Down here, it tells you the last time it was saved. When you think you're done, you would just click save. And if you click this left arrow, it takes you back to your projects. And here you go. You can preview it here. And like anything that is created with AI content, I would highly recommend that you come in here and you rewrite some of this in your own words and add your own personality to it. The AI writers are excellent for giving you a lot of content, but they do lack that personality, okay? And depending on your niche, you want to make sure that the information that you're giving your visitor is accurate. So as you read through it, make sure that it's providing information that's useful and that most of all is correct. And of course, you can always go back in and edit it anytime you like. These three little ellipses shows you how you can open it up as a PDF, open it in a flip book. You can edit it live. You can generate a flip, a flip book embed code if you're putting it into your article, let's say, or another ebook for that matter. You can generate a QR code. You can duplicate it, restore it, rename it. There's a lot of options here. Let's see what it looks like in a flipbook. And there we go. Now this watermark is just temporary. It's just because you're viewing it. You haven't downloaded it yet. But this is what the flipbook would look like. So again, very nice, very pleasing to the eye for your visitor. And also when you're in the editor, when you're all done and happy with it, you would click publish and then it gives you options on how you want it published. I usually pick for Adobe Reader and you click export and that's how easy it is. So let's look at the pros and cons of designer. The pros would be that it has the new edition called Word Genie and this makes content creation a breeze as you saw in my video. Another pro is the ebook generator. This allows you to upload content in various formats and it's quick and easy to edit. Another pro is that this is reliable software. This isn't one of the shiny objects that I often review. There's no comparison to the quality that you get with designer compared to those crappy ebook creators that you see launched every other month. And another pro, that this is continually being upgraded. The creators of Designer are continually adding and improving this software, so you can be sure that it's always top notch. And the cons? Well, to be honest, the only con that I ever have is the editor hangups. Sometimes I can come across the freezing up of the editor while editing, but to be perfectly honest, I believe it's my internet. I live in rural Alberta, Canada, and the internet speeds aren't optimal. So my recommendation is, my goodness, yes, this is the tool that I use the most to create all of my ebook and flipbook content. I highly recommend that you get this. So click my link below. There is nothing that comes close to this quality or the support that you get when you need it. And thanks so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, would you subscribe to my channel? And don't forget to hit like below the video, okay? If you have any questions or comments about designer, just leave them below and I'll get right back to you. So until my next video, cheers.